Hickok 45, and you have been asking for a slug fest. You're always asking for slug fests, and it doesn't take much to get me to do a slug fest. So I'm gonna start out by smoking some smokeless pot right there with a round. Oh, it did smoke a little bit. <laughs> oh, two pen. That was that called a spare? Oh, uh, well, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, we got rained out a time or two, but now we're ready to go. So what should we shoot? How about that swinging bowling pin? <laughs> How about an uh, orange two liter? Woo! 12 gauge kicked a little bit. Let's wake up the wet gong with the last round. Might have gone low. Oh, I got another round. Yeah, went low, I guess, on that first one. Okay, huh? Oh, look at that. Is that sweet or what? Gun smoke. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Glad you came by. We, uh, isn't that a beautiful shotgun? The old K1200 high standard uh, riot shotgun literally it's on the barrel you've seen it i'll try to remember the link to the video with the first video but it is called a riot shotgun and uh we're going to start a riot today by blowing up some stuff you know how it is on a slope the targets are not going to get a lot of support today i'm going to beat them up how's that okay let's load this thing up with some more slugs and uh have at it we're going to have at it you see we've got a watermelon we haven't shot we've got a cinder block uh, maybe an animal or two. I don't know. There's just a little more fun a Few things more fun than slinging big old one ounce slugs, big old foster slugs Through a classic shotgun and, and most of you know I've talked about it here and there Sunday videos and things uh, uh, Armed in 1975 if you've seen that yet if we haven't posted it yet. You haven't seen it yet, but uh, um yeah, I had one of these in the early 70s, first shotgun like this, and uh, exactly like this. Yeah. After, you know, coming recommended by uh, the noted firearms author, as I've mentioned, uh, Steve McQueen, <laughs> in the movie The Getaway, it seemed to work for him. So, let me try that gong again. I didn't like that, uh, that first miss. I'm going to hold up a little higher. Yeah, that's what I want. I might as well go ahead and knock the buffalo over in the mud if I can. Oh, yeah, no question when a slug hits me. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and take out this cinder block. You want to? Oh, yeah, that's like a slug. <laughs> Okay, uh, it did, it rained a lot on these pots uh, yesterday and today. So let's see if we can get a little smoke out of this one. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. How about this two liter right in front of me? Oh, wow, the slug takes care of it. And what about that watermelon? I hit the plate behind it. Now, one reason I was anxious to do some shotgunning, I'm glad you all are always asking about it, is we have had that, depending on when you see the videos and the order and all that, but that old chest of drawers has been sitting there. I put it there to throw away or burn, and I thought, well, let's put it on the range. We'll shoot it up with a shotgun or something. But, I mean, it's been there for weeks, and we've just not done a shotgun video. So, very negligent of us. So I'm going to at least shoot it a little bit here. Yeah, I just figured it would take a shotgun to blast it up there, so we'll, we'll work on it a little bit. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, I might even cheat a little bit in the slugfest and, uh, and and use the double lot buck before we're finished, because I, I really am tired, put the safety on, of seeing it there. I really am. Uh, I'm going to strike a match to it here before long, but I just hate to waste a good target. Targets like that are meant to be shot. Let's put a couple on him. There we go. Start to splinter a little bit. <laughs> and we empty? Short shucked it. <laughs> Went through it. 
<laughs> All right, before we finish, we might put a double lot buck on it. Let's get some sludge up for now. Oh, yeah. It's great to have the support of uh, Federal here and have some slugs to sling. Because I know y'all get antsy, just like me. If we haven't done a slug fest for a while, safety, uh, I start hearing from you. <laughs> I really do. And, and y'all uh, keep up with it enough. You know which shotguns we've not done a slug fest with even. So when you're going to do a slug fest with the K1200, or, oh, right, uh, oh, we haven't? Uh, hey, thanks. I didn't realize that. I guess I got enough in. It didn't feel like it was full. Yeah, I didn't. I was just didn't load it right there. I don't think I put that many in. All right, let's go over there again. I like, I like slinging slugs at a distance, as you all know. I like that ram. <laughs> Must have gone low. Let me see that thing. Well, uh, can't tell where I'm going. I'll bring it up some. Okay, so I, guess, I guess I was going low. We did not put one on the target over here, paper target, have we? Now you'll likely see two holes. Especially if I shoot it twice. Uh, not so much on that one. Usually often the uh, the wad will show up somewhere, you know, beside the hole. <laughs> and people will think I shot two different rounds. All right, let's try that uh, two liter. <laughs> yeah, nothing like a slug, sir. We'll load up one more time. How's that? It is a slug fest. Y'all expect to see some slugs slung, don't you? With safety on. Put one up in the tube. Then that way. Another box. I love these. It says low recoil. Yeah. My shoulder doesn't always agree with that. But uh, they are lower than than some. I tell you what. As much as I don't mind recoil, never really have. I, I do not enjoy shooting three inch magnum, you know, like slugs or something. Boy. I mean, they really hurt sometimes. All right. Let's just shoot some stuff that needs to be shot. Like that two liter. <laughs> Get some up high on the gong. <laughs> Sweet. Hit that red plate on the left. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it swing. That thing is heavy too. You don't see it swing like that very much. Not much we throw at it makes it swing like that. Oh, man. All right, chest of drawers. All right, I'm gonna cheat now. Y'all don't mind, y'all have your permission. I'm going to, this is kind of an ammo test too, weather test. We, we got rained out here a little while ago. I mean, it rained real hard. Everything got soaked. And I didn't get some of these into the house, the, the shed. So this is wet. It, th this is some, uh, I had buckshot, a couple of buckshots out here. Because I really kind of planned this, if you all give me permission, to shoot that chest. I know we're violating the rules of a slugfest. But I had brought this out, and then I didn't get it in out of the rain. So it's been rained on. So we'll see. I mean, that's just, you know, crunch up. <laughs> so maybe it'll still work. Ammo tends to be pretty durable when we're on safe. Uh, now you wouldn't want to soak it in the lake for a couple of months and then depend on it, I'm sure. But uh, and, and we may have trouble. I don't know. It's not designed to be... Left out in the rain. All right. So this was, uh, what was it, double lock? Yeah, number four might have been better. Double lot. I don't know, one of those wasn't but all right. Anyway, we're gonna shoot the chest of drawers, what's left of it. <laughs> there. 
There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. We've got a couple more I'm going to put in. Safety on. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I wanted to uh, get some destruction of that thing before I burn it. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. So at least it knows it's been in a firefight, right? So uh, a little slug festing, you know, on a rainy afternoon. Uh, I can't think of a better way to spend a rainy afternoon. No, I really can't. We just about spent it in the rain. Uh, but we gave up after we got wet, but the gun wet, the table wet, ammo wet, everything else still worked. So the OK-1200, if you're not that familiar with it, uh, and you want to be, look at our first video and uh, believe all the stuff I threw at you in that video, or read up on it. Uh, Consider to be uh, one of the high quality uh, shotguns ever made based on the Remington 31, I believe, Model 31, which I was not really that familiar with. Uh, just two wonderful models. The, what killed them apparently was the fact, killed off the, um, the model, was that um, it didn't have interchangeable barrels like the Winchester Model 12 did and some others. At a time in history, firearms history, when we didn't have the screw-in chokes and everything, and so you needed to be able to change out the barrels, you know, lengthwise, the choke, you know, you had to get a different barrel if you wanted a different choke. And uh, they, they didn't have that, so kind of went the way of the, the buggy whip or something, you know. But really strong reputation, really strong reputation, and I'm, I'm glad to find another one. So I've owned two of them in my life, and you might not have ever even heard of it. And you might think I'm a little weird because I've owned it twice and it says riot right on the barrel, a riot shotgun. So anyway, piece of history and an interesting firearm uh, approved by Steve McQueen. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastall. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastall for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.